Hello everybody, welcome. We have a very exciting day planned today because Kim Kushner is here joining me. Thank you. Welcome Kim. And if you guys don't know who Kim is, you should know because she is an amazing cookbook author with her second book coming out in... August, August, August 11th. That is so exciting. Is Thank it available you. for pre-sale already? It is available for pre-sale on Amazon. It is called The New Kosher and it will be released on August 11th and available to buy everywhere after then. That is super exciting. I'm going to pre-order mine tonight Thank because you. I was just thumbing through this book and there are some delicious recipes including this salmon dish that we're going to make today. This mm -hmm. is your, what's the name of this dish? I call it the lazy salmon. The lazy salmon. I love the sound of that because I feel like we're all busy come home late from work, you're tired, you don't feel like fussing with dinner, but you still have to feed the family. Right, that's basically <laughs> how I came up with it. It's just I was too lazy and I came up with this easy five minute recipe that everybody loves. That's my kind of recipe. Yeah. And we're gonna pair it with the salad, which is also in the cookbook. It's a cucumber salad with pomegranate seeds and corn. Yes, it's also a major crowd pleaser. Yeah. Everyone loves this salad. Kids, adults, everyone. You can make it using any kind of fish, not only salmon, oh. you could use it use any like thick fleshed fish mm -hmm. like halibut or even it will work on tilapia or um, arctic char for example as well. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to season the fish with some kosher salt and black pepper. All right. Very, very simply. And then I'm going to use some mustard. You can use yellow mustard. If you're feeding a crowd who prefers food that isn't spicy, right. then I would suggest yellow mustard because it's very mild. It's better for kids, I right. guess. Right. <laughs> but since we're going to be eating it, I like a little bit of a kick. So like I'm going to use <laughs> some spicy brown mustard. And literally, I just make a drizzle. You know, that's why I call it the lazy but crispy fish because throw it on. Throw it on. You don't need exact measurements. Just good to go. And on top of the mustard, I'm going to be using Ceylon. And Ceylon Ooh. is a date syrup. Of course, if you don't have the Ceylon available, mm -hmm. you can easily um, use honey or maple syrup or agave. And again, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit just to bring out a little sweetness, but I don't want to overpower. I don't want to mask the delicious flavors that come naturally from the fish. Mm -hmm. So then I just use my hands to simply rub it in to really marinate the flavors into the fish. Yum. So we are going to combine panko okay. with cornflake crumbs. And I, I love like this mixture. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweet, crunchy, different textures. If you don't have the panko, you can use regular breadcrumbs mixed with the cornflake okay. crumbs. It works just as well. A nice crunch to yes. it. I like that. And then to this, we're going to add just a cup of sun-dried tomatoes that have been marinated in oil and when I scoop them out I'm sure to include some of the oil and then I want to add some lemon zest and a really easy way to do this when you're using the processor is to just peel off use a regular vegetable peeler and I peel a nice beautiful piece off yeah. and I throw it in and then we're gonna process it all right let's give it a whirl and then all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle the crumbs over to sort of create a crust. And what this does is it allows the fish to cook without over drying because the crumbs sort of protect it. Exactly, exactly. Just place it in the oven, 375 degrees right. for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your fish. Okay. And that's it, dinner's done. I'm on it. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna put this in. Okay, our fish is in the oven, so now we're going to make this delicious, crispy cucumber salad. Yes. Summery and fresh. And my kids love this salad, but I'll also make this salad for a dinner party, adults. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Look at this. These colors are amazing. Look how pretty that is. This is actually my favorite picture in I the entire it. cookbook. So. And I love the little speckles of poppy seeds. Right. Okay, show me how we make okay, this. Okay, super awesome. easy. So we've already sliced some Kirby cucumbers. Okay. I sliced the cucumbers kind thinly an on an angle, but again, it's totally up to you. Okay. And just toss them into a bowl. And then we're going to add some corn kernels, which can go ahead. Here? Absolutely. Okay. And some pomegranate Ready. seeds, which I, pomegranates are my absolute Stunning. favorite. And those are the main ingredients of the salad. And you the see the colors, colors are amazing. I'm all about just color. Just want to eat color. it. I know. <laughs> and then we're just going to toss together in this bowl, very, very simply, the dressing ingredients, which are next to nothing. We have some rice vinegar, a little touch of toasted sesame oil, and then we're going to season with salt and black pepper. 
And a little, little seeds. touch. Yes, we're going to throw in the poppy seeds. I love the texture love that they add. It gives a nice little bite. Crunch. Yeah, uh -huh. a little bite, a little, it's like a party in your uh -huh. mouth. I love it. And then just a touch, a touch of sugar, white sugar or brown sugar, up to you. Bring out all the sweetness. And to break the acidity a little bit. What's your favorite part about being in the food business and being a book author and doing what you're doing. Like, what, what do you love about this? So I much? love, you know what? It's not the cooking that I love, and I write this in the in the introduction to my cookbook. Okay. It's really the eating. It's like, Agreed. of course, Agreed. you know, you're gonna be tired some nights. Yep. You're not gonna want to be up all night or early in the morning preparing. Yep. But it's not about the cooking. It's really what happens after when uh -huh. you're sitting around a table it with your friends. It brings people together, family, exactly. friends, it's an good, occasion. Good. Glad cup of couple of glasses of yeah, wine, delicious glasses. food. We're good. I like the way she thinks. <laughs> so, how in advance can you dress the salad? This is the type of thing you have to dress it right before eating, or you could want to let it marinate a little bit. You, you could do either or. You know, I I like a lot of bite and crisp in my mm -hmm. salad, so I don't like to dress them too early, too early. but okay. up to a half an hour beforehand and keep it in the fridge. This is a salad that really should be kept in the fridge okay. until you're ready to serve it because it will crisp all of the ingredients up. Then I'm Gorgeous. just going to use my fingertips to toss them all together. Yum. This fish looks amazing. Yum. And that was so easy. All right, Kim. So let's plate this up. I'll, I'll plate the salad. <laughs> Great. Show me how you do it. So it's really easy. And look how gorgeous the salmon Ooh. is in contrast to the crumbs. I love that. Yum. And you could tell it's not dried out because the breadcrumbs. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to plate each one with a little bit of the salad. And we're using a slotted spoon here just so that we don't get too much of the sauce, right? Exactly. Yum, Kim. This looks amazing. More cucumber. Look how gorgeous this is. These colors are incredible. This looks great. And I feel like my family is going to love this because my husband, Mike, loves salads that have just all stuff, as he says. <laughs> no lettuce, no arugula, nothing. Just stuff. <laughs> so he's going to love this. So I'm pretty excited that we have dinner already ready for tonight. Let's give this a taste. This looks really good. And the fish is perfectly cooked because it flakes mm -hmm. easily, but it's not dried out. Mmm. Kim, that's awesome. I'm that so glad so you like good. it. So fresh. It's just easy. You know what? Perfect. It's what, perfect dish. It's what cooking should be and exactly. it's what food should Shouldn't be. It shouldn't be fussy. It should just be simple and delicious. Mmm. The pomegranate seeds give a really, really nice crunch. I like that a lot. You get the crispiness from the cucumber. I also like when you look at your plate and you know what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Like you could identify everything yep. that's in the dish. That's a total winner. I am so excited, Kim. I'm Thank so you so much for you joining enjoyed me. It. This is so My much pleasure. fun. I can even go in the backyard and finish eating. Okay. Thank Glass you so of wine. much. Yes. Glass of wine for you. Thank you. And that is how Dini delivers with Kim Kushner. Bye.